Yes, uh, welcome back to uh, Queen's Wednesday on Y in the Morning. And my name is by Moses or it's by more on social media. So remember, we're still on Facebook having that conversation on breakups as we celebrate the Queens today. But this is that, that time uh, for our first interview of the day. Our strength of a woman of the day goes by the name Wanjogu Gishuru. She is the founder of Wired Global. Uh, she is a leader, a mentor, author, and a coach. Karibu san. <laughs> All right, I hope she just checked your attention. I know, that <laughs> <right>. was good. <laughs> that was good enough. Yeah. All right, so uh, welcome to Why in the Morning. Thank you. Uh, I love your work. I'm a great fan of your work. Awesome. And um, I'd like people to get yeah. to know you. Uh, so just introduce yourself. Uh -huh. uh, if there's anything I left out, you can add on to that. I can add. Uh -huh. um, Wanchoko Kishuru is... Uh, I'd like to call myself like a radical influencer. Mm -hmm. Radical. <laughs> I, yeah, radical influencer. I like just doing um, crazy, not crazy, crazy enough things to uh -huh. change crazy the community. Crazy enough things to change. Yes, right. yeah. Uh, but how I do it is by raising radical influencers. Yeah. Radical so influence. For me, one of my biggest, biggest thing is raising other leaders. Uh -huh. That's what I'm good at. Uh -huh. And that's why um, I'm a mentor. Uh -huh. yeah, I'm a mentor and I'm a leader. Uh -huh. I'm also a speaker and I'm also an author. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I've authored three books so uh -huh. far. And yeah, so that's me. That's me. The and books are I online. Can we find them online? Yes, you can right. actually even on Amazon. Uh -huh. There's one on Amazon called uh -huh. Confidence Revamp for uh -huh. ladies. So uh -huh. you can get it there. Uh -huh. um, the others, they're all for ladies actually. <laughs> there's right. one called Ideal Woman. Mm -hmm. And there's also another one called Ideal Girl. What did uh, m the men do? To <laughs> why why no. nothing for, the, for us? No, I think I'm just like, let me stick with my gender. All right. The I people you understand better. best. All right. I, I, yeah, I, I know that better. Uh, so the book... Uh, uh, yeah. uh, Confidence Reverb is on Amazon. Yes. yes Please find is. Confidence Reverb. Yeah. There's a campaign. And I don't know if I should call it a campaign or a program aligned yeah. to the book as well. Yes, yes, right. yes. It's Which actually a 21-day challenge mm -hmm. for women. Mm -hmm. And it's just for you to revamp your confidence, mm -hmm. you know. Like, I think women are, you it's know. It's revamp. Revamp, yeah. Right. Like a I revamp. Had reverb. No, no, oh, okay. no, a revamp. Uh, yes. I love music, so <laughs> <laughs> the music all does. No, no, no. All right, yeah. confidence revamp. Yes. All right, so 21 yes. day uh, mm -hmm. program. Challenge, yes. Uh -huh. It's an online challenge. Mm -hmm. So we give you a book, there's mm -hmm. a whole book, um, and the book has daily readings, mm -hmm. you know, for 21 days, and there's even a weekly challenge. Mm -hmm. And so the first week is actually the challenge is called declutter. Mm -hmm. Because you know, even as women, we end up carrying all these issues. Eh? You know, mm -hmm. women even remember what you did to them so five years ago. Eh? <laughs> so they have a record. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like, uh, you know, you cannot go. I usually say you can't go far if you're carrying a lot of luggage. Mm -hmm. And this baggage is, mm -hmm. you know, hurt from people, mm -hmm. you know, offenses, mm -hmm. uh, bitterness, anger, revenge. all this, even revenge, mm -hmm. you know. So um, we allow the ladies to just really get time to release mm -hmm. and just forgive people mm -hmm. and walk away, you know. Right. And, you know, the ladies always say this, like, I'm feeling light and easy because mm -hmm. actually that's the topic for that week. Mm -hmm. Walking light and easy, all you right. know. Walking There's light no, and easy. hey, Acha, let's right. go, shrugged as, you know? as, 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 uh, yeah. as, as a minister of the word as well, yes. uh, I'd like to understand this concept of forgiveness. You know, okay. uh, it's a very uh, big task to tell somebody to forgive, considering you don't understand uh, yeah. what this other person did to them or did yeah. for them. All right, so I've never understood this concept of forgive and forget. Yeah. How do you forgive and forget and still preventing this thing from happening to you again? Let me say this. Mm. As you said, minister of the word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the word doesn't talk about forgetting. <laughs> it talks about forgiving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think we will just add the forget there. I'm not <laughs> sure why. All right. But um, forgiveness from a biblical perspective, the mm -hmm. reason why we forgive is because we've been forgiven. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus Christ forgave us. The fact us. that we are alive and kicking and walking. It's We've been forgiven. We have been forgiven. You know, Jesus has already forgiven everyone. Even mm -hmm. those people who do not know him have mm -hmm. been forgiven. Mm -hmm. Yani mm -hmm. clean slate. Mm -hmm. Every sin you've done mm -hmm. and you'll ever do has mm -hmm. been forgiven. Like those ones of scot free, mm -hmm. Akuna, no charge, you will mm -hmm. not be judged for it. Mm -hmm. So when you come from that aspect of if I've been forgiven this much, mm -hmm. It, whatever someone has done cannot even be compared to, to how much I've been forgiven. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And so you come from that angle for, because I've been forgiven, I will also extend the forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And that's why Jesus said we forgive, by the way. Mm -hmm. Forgive because you've been forgiven. 
That's it. Forgive so that is why. That's seven number one. Times seven. Yeah, you right. forgive because of that. Uh -huh. And then there's also a scientific aspect of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. They've come to realize, even scientists have come to realize uh -huh. that when you hold on to grudges and bitterness, mm -hmm. it literally damages your brain. Oh, literally. Yeah. So we were not even created it's to harbor. It's that drugs. dangerous. Uh? <laughs> we're not created to harbor unforgiveness, by right. the way. And so people who have that, and you can even tie to some illnesses. You can mm -hmm. tie some illnesses uh -huh. to bitterness. Literally. Like depression. Depression, arthritis. Uh -huh. um, yes. Uh -huh. And you know, it's blood pressure. Blood pressure, <laughs> and uh, you know, just having very strange conditions. Even when you go to hospital, they're even uh -huh. trying to find out what's wrong with you. But, but they can't figure it out. There's this thing they're nothing like, CGI. Oh, yes. You're clearly sick. <laughs> uh -huh. But then they're like, That's we don't CGI. even have a you know a mm -hmm. name for this condition. Uh -huh. And so, um, even for your own health, just let it go. And just the thing is, and having not forgiving someone doesn't solve anything mm -hmm. really when you think about it you keeping a you know a grudge mm -hmm. does it help you first actually it's actually undoing mm -hmm. you is it hurting the other person no, no. they are living their life mm -hmm. unless now you go and revenge and kill them mm -hmm. <laughs> and even if you kill them really it doesn't even change anything actually mm -hmm. it undoes the the issue it undoes you mm -hmm. your peace of mind your and so forgiveness is the way to go yeah. Forgiveness is the way to go. Yeah. Confidence uh, revamp. You yes. can find it on Amazon yes. by Wanjugu uh, Gishuru. Gishuru. All right. I like that you mentioned something about uh, research in science. Yeah. Uh, showing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, I did uh, my you know, undergrad, I did biochemistry. I think yes, that's why I that is what I was heading <laughs> straight to. So, uh, yeah. Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, you did a uh, Master's in Planning and Project Management. Yeah. Okay. Shift. D a diploma in Bible training. Yeah. At theology, in extension, disaster management and preparedness. Mm. Wow. Why did you get the time to do all these things? <laughs> Let me age. not say my age, Kwanzaa. <laughs> but we can tell. We can <laughs> tell you. 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 I mean, the bit. Uh -huh. I mean. There's time. Uh -huh. I actually think that I should have done more. Uh -huh. I, there's always time for what you want to do. There's right. always time. And there's no yeah. limit there's uh, for no knowledge. Limit. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Biochemistry. Yeah. I'd like to, to, to start that. <laughs> Yeah, that's is a story of another day. And I actually loved it. Uh -huh. You know, people think I was forced to do it. I, uh -huh. I loved it. I've always wanted to. Actually, I grew up thinking I was going to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. and most so, of us most, Yes, uh -huh. but I really loved it. Like those ones, of, it was my dream, or uh -huh. th I thought. And the reason why was because I thought it was the most noble cause. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to save lives. You know, mm -hmm. I was like. Mm -hmm. But I loved science. I was good at it. Mm -hmm. So um, when I didn't get the grades to go to medicine, to do mm -hmm. medicine, um, I was offered the biochemistry. Mm -hmm. And actually the plan was to do biochemistry and then I actually enter medicine mm -hmm. in the third year. Mm -hmm. And so when I was doing biochemistry, it hit me. Mm -hmm. I think science is fascinating, mm -hmm. but <laughs> this is not what I would want to do my entire life. There was mm -hmm. something missing. I wanted to go out there, meet people, interact mm -hmm. with people. And I was always cooked in the lab. All and right. I was like, mm, this is so not So you it. were a social person. Yes. They wanted to keep you in the lab. Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah. So you found a balance in between. Yes, Do you I still did. practice uh, things related to biochemistry? Let me say uh, in my trainings, uh -huh. There's always a science aspect. There's always all a science aspect. All the time, all the time. It doesn't so. have to be uh, the, the physical aspect, even no. the concepts. Even the concepts. Because I, 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 um, I have a scientific mind. I think, mm -hmm. let me say it like that. I like science. I like to figure out why things work the way they do. Mm -hmm. So I bring that in my trainings and it makes mm -hmm. all the difference. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, since you like to figure <laughs> out why things work the way they do, why yeah. do girls <laughs> hold grudges <laughs> so much? Huh? Uh, I think it's the way we, we are wired. Uh -huh. um, the, the brain, I like to use the, this interesting example. Uh -huh. The brain of a lady is like spaghetti. Okay? We are the together brain, up to that point. <laughs> uh -huh. The brain of a guy is like a waffle. Guys, uh -huh. even we just how, yeah, that. just how, maybe just to make it simple, not, uh -huh. let me not get into scientific terms. Uh -huh. To make it simple, for a guy, you can compartmentalize things mm. like you know they like a box moja in mm. guinea box and they really don't connect mm -hmm. for the ladies everything is connected literally 
to the point our uh, memory you is connected really to an baby. emotion. <laughs> no, but that's how we are wired. It's our yeah. nature. We're not yeah. like it's like breathing. It's All not right. a big thing. <laughs> it's like yeah. we can remember an issue mm. and re and we can actually feel the emotion uh -huh. of that issue. That's the issue. Like we we are even there. We right. remember the details of that. We are reliving it. So that is why it's hard for um, ladies to uh -huh. move on because they can literally feel the emotion right. even that day. But it's possible. I mean, it's possible. It's, it's possible. possible. Um, All right. It's possible. Uh, I'm told that there's no, there's nothing that can only be just negative. Yeah. Uh, every They're aspect. Positive. There's, yeah. there's a positive aspect of exactly. things. Exactly. Uh, what is it about the rays that are wired like spaghetti? <laughs> uh, yeah. What is the advantages? What are some of the there advantages are many that come advantages. with it? Um, there are many advantages. One is um, we are able to see, how do I put it? We're very detailed. We're yeah? able to see through bull. Yeah, bull we're something. able to see <laughs> different aspects of one issue. All right. For a guy, it's one view. You know, this is it. Uh -huh. And you'll miss a lot of things uh -huh. that, are, that, you know, that are going to charge uh -huh. on what you're actually looking at. Uh -huh. For a lady, she's seeing how all these things are connecting to this one thing. Mm -hmm. And if, and that's why even for a marriage, that's mm -hmm. why it's really important even for the man to listen to the lady. Mm -hmm. Because she's seeing it. She's seeing mm -hmm. things that you won't see. And if you do not listen, you'll end up in that hole. Mm -hmm. How she's seen how this is connected. Even in organizations. Uh -huh. That's why ladies are really good relationship managers. Because... Mm -hmm. For maybe a guy in the top, he's like, oh, let's cut off people because, you know, mm -hmm. we don't have money. Yes. And but this a lady is like, is yeah, a lady anything. is like, no, we can't leave this. If we fire this person, this is what's going to happen to uh -huh. this aspect of the organization. Uh -huh. And this is what we're going to lose, you uh -huh. know. And she's able to figure out, actually, this is what we can do. We can keep them, but uh -huh. this is what we can do. So uh -huh. she's able to literally hold everything together mm -hmm. because she's able to see all those aspects. Funny enough, that is uh, the role that our moms played in, yes, in exactly. the Exactly. In, in, in the homes yeah. uh, when we were growing up. Exactly. That's why, she, that's why we say that she can multitask. But it's mm -hmm. just because she can be able to see all those aspects. And all be right. able to know what she can do to hold everything together. Okay. I won't yeah. get into the advantages of men uh, having waffle like yeah. braids. <laughs> Today is not that day. Yeah. Uh, but I'd like to get into uh, Wired Global Limited. Yeah. Yeah. When did you start this uh, wonderful mm -hmm. organization? In 2017. 2017. Yes, yes. So about mm -hmm. three years ago. And um, yeah, but the vision was started like five years ago. Let me say that. Yeah. Uh -huh. I had this vision. I even had the name. I know people listen, they, ha they hear wired and they wonder what is wired. This is it. <laughs> like wired. So, yes. In Silicon Valley. <laughs> no, it's, um, there's actually uh, an element where it's an acronym uh -huh. for a program we have. Right. But uh, wired, give it to us, give it to us, give it to us. <laughs> yeah, wired global just means you know the word connected, uh -huh. connected. I, I, for us, we are connecting people to God, mm -hmm. connecting people to God, to their identity and to mm -hmm. their purpose. Yeah, so for us, we're like a bridge. We're like, yeah, I know you're here, mm -hmm. you're probably feeling lost, you don't know where to go, who you mm -hmm. are. We are connecting you, we have a way of showing you who you are. Mm -hmm. So, um, we kind of plug people, you mm -hmm. know, when you think of a plug and just put it in the socket. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's who we are, that's why uh -huh. Wired is there, and we do that through mentorship. That's uh -huh. our big approach. Uh -huh. We have programs, we have trainings, mm -hmm. we have content, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. But the bottom line for us as Wired Global is we are raising women leaders, mm -hmm. that is really what we are for. That is our mm -hmm. focus, your focus <laughs> even is in our raising training. Women leaders. Yes, we All are right. telling them that you know what you are a leader you mm -hmm. are a change agent you mm -hmm. can effect change as a woman you don't mm -hmm. have to act like a man mm -hmm. or try to adopt things just be yourself be yourself and you will be able to bring that influence yeah. you'll be able to bring that influence yeah. i like that you touched on that uh because yeah. right now we are facing a constitutional crisis yes. like there's a uh, parliament uh some people want parliament to be dissolved because they have not reached the one uh, that yeah. uh, that was uh, intended or that is written in the constitution. Yeah. And uh, so many questions are asked uh, that the population of women is more Over than 50 that of men. Yeah. Right? And uh, everybody has a right to vote, yeah. including the women. Yeah. And women can vote women leaders if they want to. Yeah, that's actually the issue. They've realized that, um, unfortunately, and not just in Kenya, mm -hmm. <laughs> but even abroad, mm -hmm. especially even in the US, I was seeing some statistics that rarely do women vote other women in. Like, so how is that a man's problem? 
it's not a man's problem and i think for us that is why we do what we do mm -hmm. it's a perspective problem mm -hmm. um even if you look at in a class setup mm -hmm. if you look at a guy and there's a lady and the teacher asks a question or asks who wants to be the leader the guy will say yes yani mm -hmm. guys are naturally you know leaders for they just believe in themselves even if they are really not even that talented all right in leadership but for a mm -hmm. girl a lady she will over think she will question herself 20 times uh -huh. even before she steps up and uh -huh. does something and so for us we realize it's a weakness in terms of the the gender uh -huh. so that's why we are very big on confidence building uh -huh. you know if you build a, a, the confidence of a woman and tell uh -huh. her that she's capable that uh -huh. she can do it as a lady uh -huh. and you give her the skills on how because uh -huh. you see uh, I don't want to say it's a man's world, but mm -hmm. I'm almost saying it's a man's world. But it, it, <laughs> but it truly is, is, it is a man's world. Right? Yeah. And even if it's leadership, we've seen leadership through a man's world. Mm -hmm. We've not seen leadership through a woman's world. Mm -hmm. We don't know how a woman should lead. Mm -hmm. We've not seen that role modeling, really. Mm -hmm. And even the ones we've seen, we do not want to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we're like, if that is what leading as a woman is, missed it, mm -hmm. you know. So for us, we are like, this is how to do it as a woman. Mm -hmm. And we show it. Mm -hmm. So we realize when we do that, women step up. Okay. And then they also are able to see themselves as leaders and they're able to also see the same to other women. Mm -hmm. They're able to see other women as leaders. Mm -hmm. So we are also creating a, a, a narrative or mm -hmm. a culture of supporting women, which is women not Women supporting women. Women supporting women women all right and so we've realized that's working and mm -hmm. for us we are very deliberate we have programs that are targeting girls as young as 10 years all the mm -hmm. way to over 25 mm -hmm. and the older women are very intentional in reaching the younger women mm -hmm. and they are telling them you know what this is what i did don't do that this is the way to go mm -hmm. so the younger women are having like uh, the, we have a program called ideal girl oh my goodness we were doing a session and mm -hmm. i was looking at those girls and i'm like what? How old are they? <laughs> they will go so far. I mean, the confidence. Uh -huh. I mean, they are speaking. They are brave. Uh -huh. They are not scared of making mistakes. Because that's the other thing. You know, uh -huh. as a woman, you question yourself. You want to be perfect. There's nothing like perfection. Uh -huh. Just go there and do it, you know. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so we've realized that those are the issues that women have and that's mm -hmm. why they don't step up to lead mm -hmm. confidence and being confidence one is one of them it's mm -hmm. a big thing and then of course lack of skill and mm -hmm. knowledge on how to do it yeah so we offer right. that as well and general and we also support, give from support. The society. exactly all also right. men need to support the women you know mm -hmm. what uh, i mean as you said it's a man's world mm -hmm. and if you come to an organization and the men are just there trying to put you down it's going to be All really right. hard for you but if you find a situation where the men are encouraging the women to mm -hmm. lead and you know to to use their gifts and skills the All women right. will really thrive <laughs> <laughs> men are coming from a position of yeah. privilege yeah uh, so it's very hard to, to let go of privilege oh if, yes it's human nature Oh, like, like I don't want you to take my spot. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so how are we going to deal with that part? The thing is, mm -hmm. we cannot take your spot. We are not men. <laughs> like, that is just a fact. Uh -huh. There is no way I can be a man. Mm -hmm. And there is no way a man can be a woman. Mm -hmm. So there is no competition there. There is no competition there. Is no there is no competition. There is no competition. There is complimentary. Actually, we are going you to will win. Each other. You will win if mm -hmm. you allow her to lead. She will add to uh -huh. your value she will add to your organization men who have allowed women to lead are happy they're like hey this is uh, some good stuff yes but if you decide uh -huh. to cut them down you're uh -huh. gonna lose i like think it's one a of losing battle yes <laughs> All right. yes yeah i think one of them is um this insurance company resolution health mm -hmm. I think it's one of the companies that really have allowed women to lead. I mm -hmm. don't think there's a company that has so many women leaders and women managers. But are you seeing why it's thriving? Thriving. <laughs> I so, see. <laughs> um, I see. All yeah. right. So women uh, can be very good. Women yeah. are. They not are. Can be. They are. Women. They are and they can be. Because you see uh -huh. now there are some who are not now leading actively. Uh -huh. So we tell them that you can be. You have it in you. Uh -huh. Just start from where you are. Have you been in any position of yeah. leadership? I have before, mm -hmm. you know, what I am doing right now. I used uh -huh. to work in an organization uh -huh. that was actually championing the boy child. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you can imagine, I was actually, I was the only woman, I was the only lady mm -hmm. heading a department. The mm -hmm. rest were men. All right. It was tough. It was really tough. It, yes, that they is were what great I was. Men, but it was tough. You know, like men are into men just go for what they want. Like uh -huh. if you, <laughs> you know, they go for it. Uh -huh. uh, for, let me give an example. Uh -huh. You know, the the guy, the boss, uh -huh. would probably be in the office once a week, uh -huh. right? 
and you know you need to get him to sign things you need to get his approval mm -hmm. so when he's in the office you know everyone is at his mm -hmm. so i remember i used to wait you know until well, the guys he's free too. yeah right. at i just go and then i see someone and then i'm just then i get the chance when he's free and i enter you think i will be able to talk to him i will be there but the men are going to bulldoze in and start uh -huh. talking to him. They do not care if I'm seated there, whether uh -huh. I was talking to him or not. And right. I used to be so mad. I used mm -hmm. to be like, what is this? Men are so... And I just realized, okay, before I will start now shouting mm -hmm. and try to like even now be, you know, uh -huh. even me, I'm talking. And uh -huh. I was like, oh, it was too tiring. It was too tiring. So I mm -hmm. just decided I'll just be keeping quiet and staying there. Mm -hmm. And I realized just that aspect of me just being a lady and just staying there, will just make them, you know, wonder, oh, oops, sorry, you, mm -hmm. you wanted to talk. Yeah. They tone it they down. They tone it down. So you don't have to raise your to, voice no, like the man. No, I don't have to start right. fighting and You can find your smart oh way of doing it. Yes, I learned that. I learned mm -hmm. that there. I learned just to be a lady. All right. To be feminine. But uh, yeah. some ladies are uh, born aggressive, naturally. What do we do? I tell think them? I will be in that category. Mm -hmm. Let me see. <laughs> Uh -huh. I think I will be in the category of the aggressive one. Yes, what do we tell <laughs> them? To be less like, aggressive? No. You know, the thing is, the reason why I'm able to lead an organization is because I have that, actually, that um, mm -hmm. trait, uh -huh. really. Uh -huh. um, you know, not every woman is going to lead an organization. Not mm -hmm. every woman is probably going to be a pioneer in terms mm -hmm. of starting an initiative and all that. Mm -hmm. But there are ladies who are maybe personality-wise, uh, cholerics, you know, they are driven, they are ambitious. They have this thing of, you know, assertiveness and tenacity. And I think it is God-given because of what you've been called to do. Mm -hmm. So for me, I've embraced that as a trait. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm able to just go for it. And sometimes I know there are some men who get... You know, you know, a bit intimidated for like, hey, uh -huh. are you the one? You know, I remember when I was, I will go somewhere and I will talk about what I do. People mm. will be like, you're the one who's leading. <laughs> you're the CEO. You know, they, they had to ask like three times. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you know. It's and so, still very hard for people to believe. I think like just, there's, you know, even culture wise, mm -hmm. you know, um, I think there's some men who are like, oh, no, women are not supposed to be the ones out mm -hmm. there doing it. But they are, it, if it's a calling, it's mm -hmm. a calling. And God knew I was going, I was a lady, you uh -huh. know, when he called me. It wasn't like he was blind, you All know. Right. <laughs> yeah. I see that. <laughs> God can never be blind. Yeah, All yeah. right. Uh, so you're reaching women above 23 years and uh, teaching about identity, purpose, and impact. Yeah. Uh, so identity is a, is a very... Con what do you call them? Con <laughs> it's a very... <laughs> It's a big thing, you know, it's, yes, a, it's big a big topic. Big. Yeah. All right, it's yeah, so know. identity uh, yeah. is, is also a problem, if you yeah. ask me. Yeah, it is, uh, it is. So many people are trying to be things they are not. Yeah. Influenced by the internet, yeah. influenced by the idols or yeah. the people they look up to. Yeah. Uh, but uh, at the same time, uh, motivational speakers <laughs> will tell you, uh, don't be satisfied with what you have right now. Always be hungry for more. Uh. Uh, be like so and so. So and so was doing this. So you try to be uh, like so and so, yeah. and this person is not you. Yeah. Uh, so identity. At what point mm -hmm. do we start learning our identity, and whose responsibility is it uh, to teach uh, me as a child or yeah. teach uh, that child right there yeah. uh, how to find themselves? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ideally, it should start in the family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is where, you know, values are formed. Mm -hmm. Whether wrong values or true values, that's mm -hmm. where they are formed. Mm -hmm. You're too, that's a fact. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a story each mm -hmm. of us tells ourselves, by the way. And that story was defined when we were young. Mm -hmm. the, you know, they usually say from uh, when you're zero to eight years, that mm -hmm. is such a really a vital time mm -hmm. because it's a make or break. Mm -hmm. And whatever you experience, whatever you're exposed to, whatever you had, will really form a perception of who you are. Mm -hmm. And it, it, you know, of course, you know, there's, there's always um, room for reinventing yourself. Mm -hmm. There's always room. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be harder when you're an adult. Mm -hmm. That's the truth, you know. Mm -hmm. And I've also worked with adults where it's, it will take so much time for you to literally change the beliefs you've always had about yourself. Mm -hmm. Because they've been ingrained in you, you know. Mm -hmm. We, the decisions we make on a daily basis, what we attract, the mm -hmm. relationships we have, they've all, they are all um, propelled by our subconscious mind. You know, mm -hmm. and that's like 95%, by the way. So and that's why you mind find you're, you're, you like a certain type of You don't woman. even know why. You know, you're like, in, consciously, you're like, they are bad for me, you know. Uh -huh. 
there shouldn't be. But then you find yourself where you're like, you know, you okay. keep telling yourself consciously, I know this is wrong, but you end up in the same situation. Because mm -hmm. ultimately, what is driving your decision mm -hmm. is in your subconscious. That's why it's, it's subconsciously you just did it even without really mm -hmm. thinking or taking time to reason. Okay. You found yourself there. And your subconscious mind is built up in time. From the time you were small, it's like a memory bank. Mm -hmm. It's just feeding, feeding, taking it in, uh -huh. taking uh -huh. it in. And it's telling a story. It's saying, oh, you know, for example, let me just give an example. Mm -hmm. I like if, uh, example. Yeah. I like better with <laughs> let examples. Let me give an example of uh -huh. who? Um, a lady, a mm -hmm. girl. And she's maybe eight years or ten years. Mm -hmm. And her first experience with a guy mm -hmm. is a sexual experience. Mm -hmm. The guy comes and he's hitting on her sexually. Mm -hmm. Maybe even molested her or something. Mm -hmm. For her, she will know this is how I need to relate to guys. She knows it's wrong, but that is her first experience. What will happen is it will record in her mind, even mm -hmm. in her brain, that mm -hmm. you know what? For me, I think to relate with a guy, mm -hmm. I have to give my body. Or for me to have a love from a guy, mm -hmm. I have to exchange it for sex. And she will grow up and she will know, oh, that was wrong. Yeah, you know, I need to get a right guy. She probably even has a dream of finding a guy who loves her, mm -hmm. who doesn't treat her as a sex object. But she always finds herself with guys who always want sex. And mm -hmm. she's like, why? Until she goes back and challenges that narrative mm -hmm. from the time she was small, she will find herself just having that cycle. Right. So that's the thing about identity. It's formed when you are really small because of what you experience, what you are told. And so what we do is we ask, what do you want to be right now? You know, because that is in your conscious mind. Like mm -hmm. there's a desire, you want to be this person. You want to have this life. You want to have, you know, this man or whatever. Then now the issue is, are your beliefs, you know, empowering that desire? Uh -huh. And if they are not... You need to find out what are they because they are false and you need to challenge them and change them and start adopting beliefs that will empower what you want. Wow. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's this uh, thing yeah. um, that flies around. Since mm -hmm. we're talking about daughters and yeah. we're talking about her first experience. Yeah. Uh, there's this thing about daddy issues. Mm -hmm. uh, daughters that are raised by moms only. Yeah. They tend to have problems later on in their lives. Yeah. Uh, what do you have to say about this? Yeah, that's why we said um, identity is formed in a family unit where mm -hmm. there's a mother and a father mm -hmm. because they have different roles. They offer different needs to a child. Mm -hmm. You know, the mother offers nurture and a safe space. Mm -hmm. Like, you're okay. You mm -hmm. know, you are safe. Mm -hmm. I'm going to protect you. You know, you are, you know, you're fed. You're, you're fed. You know, you just feel, ah, you know, mm -hmm. someone who's been raised by a mother is not over anxious about situations. You know, mm -hmm. they're just a bit settled, like, you know, they feel safe. Mm -hmm. But a man, a father, offers identity in terms of this is who you are. You know, mm -hmm. you're beautiful, you're precious, you know, mm -hmm. you are mine. Mm -hmm. You know, a father, and that's why we even take a name from a father. So, you uh -huh. know, you're known by your father's name. Uh -huh. it, is, it gives some form of identity. So this it's is very where important for from. a girl to grow up being told it you're beautiful. It is very important. You're mine, you're I'm telling you, it's like a need. You know the way men usually say, ah, you know, us respect is a need. Uh -huh. <laughs> for a woman, <laughs> love and affection is a need. Is a need. And knowing that, actually there are two questions a girl always asks. Mm -hmm. Am I lovable mm -hmm. or am I worthy to be loved mm -hmm. and am I beautiful? Those two questions. And whoever answers them will yeah. actually form her identity. I'm telling you, if a wrong person answers those questions, <laughs> it's just, so it has to you be know, the dad. Uh, <laughs> it's so in, and then you see the dad offers genuine love. You uh -huh. know, like, you know that love of a dad? Mm -hmm. Like, yes, I know. too, uh -huh. because you're my, daughter. you're my daughter. Now, you can imagine a lady who doesn't know that love. And mm -hmm. the only affection she's gotten is from a guy. And it's not her father's love. Mm -hmm. It's a sexual love. Uh -huh. So for her, she doesn't even know. You mean a guy can come hug me and just love me without wanting sex? Like, how does that look like? And uh -huh. it's terrible. Because she feels like I'm always seen as a sexual object. I don't mm -hmm. have anything else. I have, you know, skills. I have So the dad is dreams. the first person that can it's offer important. that love from a, a man father without figure. sexual Even if it's things. not uh -huh. her real dad or biological uh -huh. dad, a father figure is important. Mm -hmm. And a father figure can come from anywhere. It can could be an be uncle. your mom's brother. Yeah, can mom's be brother. your grandfather. You're a pastor. Like uh -huh. for me, I didn't grow up with my dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
But I thank God there were always some, you know, guys, especially in church, there uh -huh. were, you know, some of the pastors I had then who were uh -huh. really close to uh -huh. me. You know, I just usually just had some sort of a father figure all somewhere. Right, all right, I see. So uh -huh. um, it doesn't have to be at my biological dad, you mm -hmm. know. And let's face it, sometimes even if you find out who your biological dad is, mm -hmm. he will not probably be the dad you want. Uh -huh. So what will happen to you? So I think sometimes it's just asking God and just finding a place where, you know, a guy, a father figure, whether mm -hmm. an uncle or someone who can be create that. So it's very important to have a father figure. Yeah. So if you have a niece that uh, the father is not present, please you be can present. Be please, present. yeah, please offer that affection. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, a girl who's offered affection, mm -hmm. the way she thrives, mm -hmm. it's amazing. You know. Yeah. Thank you very much for the wise words. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to um, quote Kanye West as we proceed. Yes. <laughs> so Kanye West says, "When you get daughters, protect them. When uh -huh. you get sons, uh, teach them the right ways." Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you have to say about this? Are girls just <laughs> there to be protected <laughs> and then the men are taught their ways uh, of the life? I think it's just, you know, when a girl is protected, mm -hmm. she's able to thrive. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to say that a girl knows everything, mm -hmm. but a girl kind of just knows a lot of things, you know. Mm -hmm. um, she just needs confidence, she needs to be built up, mm -hmm. and she will fly. Mm -hmm. For I feel like for a man, they need a blueprint. Mm -hmm. A man learns by being shown, mm -hmm. you know, like, Nihivi in a fan, you know, like, yeah, <laughs> like, this is the line, you know, uh -huh. like, this is how it is, you know, because you're practical. Mm -hmm. So that's why maybe he meant that, like, mm -hmm. teach the way, like, this uh -huh. is how it goes, you know, so uh -huh. that the man can also be like, oh, I saw a blueprint, so let uh -huh. me follow the blueprint. All right. So maybe that's what it means. That's you and Kanye are <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. All yeah. right, tell the, give them your social media handles, uh, right. the organization ones mm -hmm. and the personal ones, okay. as we finish up yeah. uh, with some opinion-based questions. Okay. <laughs> right. So our uh, Facebook page is Wired Global, Wired Global. Our Instagram page is at she is wired, at she is wired. We also are in Twitter at she is wired. We also have a YouTube channel, Wired Global. Mm -hmm. Kindly go and subscribe. And uh, my Facebook, personal Facebook page is Wanjogo Gishuru. Mm -hmm. I have a page and a personal account. And I'm also on Instagram at Wanjogo Gishuru. Yes. All right. Thank you very much for that. Uh, so on Facebook, we have a question. Yeah. Uh, Ushai Achua. <laughs> mm -hmm. In a relationship? Yes. It does happen to all of us, I think. <laughs> it was mutual. It was mutual. <laughs> Nobody was that. I can tell you also. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a man in so many ways. You have the pride of a man. <laughs> okay. So what are some of the uh, the, the reasons yeah. for for breakups in relationship? Oh my goodness. You know people are complex. Uh -huh. Oh. Man. And you learn this over time. The more you grow up, you yeah. learn that people are complex. And then you know people are also messed up like uh -huh. you. You know like. You also, like me. Okay, not like, let me <laughs> like, say, like, let me say, like, I'm not trying I, to say that Africa is so messed up, but uh, honestly, I mean, think about it, I was reading that 45% of families are single uh -huh. families. In Africa? In Africa. Right in in Kenya, actually, in, in Kenya. In Kenya. Yeah. So, people are coming from homes thought, already that I've, are very... Okay, complicated. Co yeah. Complex. So, are going my issues already. Father issues, daddy issues. Even you, you have issues. So, you attract each other, and then now you're just... Issues. You and then a yeah, lot of toxins. It's <laughs> that's it. People are not okay, mm -hmm. and they are getting into relationships who are not being okay, mm -hmm. and they hurt each other even more. Hurting people hurt each other. So that's what I will say. For me, that has been my story. Mm -hmm. You know, before I found healing and before I I knew myself, I was hurt. Mm -hmm. You know, and I I don't want to say oh it was the guys. Even me, I knew I hurt them. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you come It's always good to take responsibility. It's good as to well. take responsibility for yourself. Mm -hmm. What I could say, oh, it's all these men, they're, they're, uh -huh. they're always cheating. Why are you attracting cheating people? Why uh -huh. are you attracting men who cheat? There uh -huh. must be a reason why you're attracting them, mm -hmm. by the way. They must oh, be. Right. It's always it's going back to the story you told yourself. There's uh -huh. a reason why you're attracting them. Even if you don't want to, uh -huh. there must be something that is in you, you believed, and that's why you're attracting them. Because guess what? Maybe there are good men out there. Mm -hmm. They are. They might be few, <laughs> but they are. <laughs> they are. And so if they are, why aren't you attracting them? Mm -hmm. You know? And so I, I will say that about relationships. Um, just 
take care work on you first work on, work you. on you be a high quality person and understand you attract who you are if you work on you if you work on your message go back at their issues and stop blaming you know your parents Stop blaming your dad if he wasn't there i i know it was painful but take responsibility like i know that has happened in my life what mm -hmm. can i do right now to heal even if mm -hmm. it's seeing a counselor um, mm -hmm. I do coaching as well, personal mm -hmm. coaching. If you want to get me on board as a coach, we can work together. And you fix those issues and you start now being that person. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you will attract those people. The right people? Mm -hmm. I mean, even me, I started attracting other crop of guys mm -hmm. from the ones I was... I was like, it right. works, it works. It so works when you work, work on yourself. <laughs> it does. It, it works does. when you work, <laughs> work on, on yourself. yourself. That is yeah. the word of the day. <laughs> Relationships yeah. work they when do. you work on yourself first. Yeah. Yeah. So work on yourself first. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for that. You're and I'm um, glad you're attracting <laughs> a young, faithful, <laughs> black, uh, responsible black men. men. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope I'm right at black. Okay, so as we finish up, yeah. I had this friend, uh, I won't say my age as well, yeah. but my friend is like, uh, she's like 21 now. Yeah. I think 20, 21. She mm -hmm. just turned 21 this year. So when she was 20, she was telling me, oh, I want to do this and that, and then this and that, and then this and that, and then that, <laughs> that, and then get married by 25. What would you tell such a person who plans their life in that way and having marriage as a priority in this day and age. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. By that's 25. An amazing putting time girl. caps. Yeah. Putting time, time caps. I mean, so. it's good to plan. There's uh -huh. nothing wrong with planning. Uh -huh. I mean, of course, give a caveat. Plan. Uh -huh. I usually say this plan with God, but leave room for some surprises. Because look at 2020 and you have a plan. Uh -huh. But then who's God, you know? Uh -huh. So plan, it's good to have a plan, definitely. Mm. So for right. her, I'll be like, yay, go for okay. it, you know. But of course, leave room, eh? because mm. so that you're not depressed when things are not things working, when, you know, way. when, yeah. All right. Yeah. Ah, thank you very much. One last time, I'll give you a chance <laughs> to give them your social media yes, handles yes. so they can reach you in case anybody needs some counseling okay. or guidance or wants yeah. to be part of uh, Confidence Revamp. Revamp. Uh -huh. yes. So our uh, handles, our uh, Facebook page is Wired Global. Instagram is at She is Wired. My personal page is Wanjogo Gishuru on Facebook and also at Wanjogo Gishuru on Instagram. Our website is www.wiredglobal.org. Mm -hmm. So you can find our contacts there. And we do coaching, personal coaching, group coaching. Um, yeah, we are here for you. So get in touch mm -hmm. with us. Yeah. Wired Global. Thank you very much for Thank coming Thank you through. so much Wanjogo. for having and, uh, me. I'd, yeah. I'm read. I'm going to get <laughs> get a hold of that book and just awesome. read it and awesome. see what's going on in your head right there. Awesome. All right. I'd, uh, I hope I'm going to see you again sometime soon. Definitely on this I'd set so we can touch yeah. on some other issues. I'll be back if you guys invite me. I'll be We're back. definitely going to invite you. Uh, thank <laughs> yeah. you very thank much you. for coming through. Uh, we have had such an amazing time. Check Wired uh, Global online uh, for more information. We are going to be back with some more of Queen's Wednesday on Why in the Morning. This has been Strength of a Woman. My name is. Barry Moses or it's by Moon social media don't go no more.